Hello, my name is Fran and I'm part of the worship leading team at Oakwood and this is my thought for the day. I bring my thought for the day to you um, on the back of a weekend of uh, press reports and news um, about the murder of Sarah Everard and the resulting um, outcry from women um, and women's groups um, about how women are treated and how women feel. Um, and interestingly, the, the passage that I've been asked to talk about as we are in this period of Lent is from the book of Ruth. Now, Ruth is one of only two books in the Bible which are named after women, uh, the other one being Esther. Um, and I suppose it feels particularly pertinent that, that this should be the story that uh, our thought for the day is about today. Now, um, the book of Ruth tells the story of Ruth's, uh, well, Ruth was a Moabite woman and she married a, a, a Jewish man, the son of uh, Naomi. Now, when tragically Ruth's husband dies, um, Naomi, who is Ruth's mother-in-law, sets her off to, um, says, you can go back to your own people, you don't need to stay with me. But Ruth says, no, she says, you are now my family and I will stay with you. Well, Naomi makes the decision that they will move back to where she was from, which was Judah. And when they move back to Judah, they um, they find work collecting uh, scraps of um, the crops in uh, someone called Boaz's field. And while they're doing this, uh, Ruth, catches the eye of Boaz and he uh, makes a special effort to make sure that there are plenty of crops dropped behind so that Naomi and Ruth can pick them up. Now Naomi's a little bit of a, um, a matchmaker at this point and she encourages Ruth to go um, one night and lay at Boaz's feet. Um, she and she does this and then Boaz uh, agrees to take Ruth to be his wife and with that take on the responsibility of looking after Ruth's mother-in-law Naomi. Now when I've looked at some of the passages uh, to explain a little bit about this passage from Ruth um, I was particularly taken by something the Bible Society had to say um, which felt really relevant um, this these few days as we we come to terms with with what's happened to Sarah Everard and think about what that has to say to us as women and as men and to the wider society um, because when Ruth is laying at Boaz's feet we often take this to be that she was um, she was being a bit flirtatious with him she was um, encouraging um, a relationship Actually, what she is doing there is she is demonstrating and expressing her huge trust in Boaz not to take advantage of her. She is trusting him to do the right thing and to be a good man. Now, I'm really interested that well, last week was International Women's Day, uh, Women's Day, and for all of our strides forward in hearing the voices of women, somehow we are still in this place where those voices are not being heard, where women are still feeling vulnerable, where women still are vulnerable. And I would say to you, as our thought for the day today, that perhaps we need to be having some conversations about vulnerability and trust with each other. Not just letting them happen in the news, not just letting them happen with other people, but us having some conversations with each other about vulnerability and trust. Take care. Bye-bye.